Uh, next, I'd like to uh, demonstrate and discuss the electroscope. Uh, here's a device. There's a stationary arm, this blue arm, and a movable arm, this red arm. And uh, when we put a charge on this, uh, such as by taking a rubber rod and rubbing it with fur and getting a negative charge, uh, first, uh, rather than touch this, I'll just bring the rubber rod up close and we'll watch what happens. We see that we drive electrons from the top plate down to both the movable arm and the stationary arm and then they separate from one another, indicating again that like charges repel. As I take it away, it relaxes and comes back. And as I bring it over here, it drives electrons down. Now if I actually touch that plate with this rubber rod, then some of the electrons, and it looks like a little spark jumped over there and uh, grabbed before I even touched it, some of the electrons now have been uh, transferred from the rubber onto this plate, and that will cause that arm to stay separated, the movable arm to stay separated from the stationary arm as the, as the stationary and movable arm both have negative charges on them, and negative charges repel negative charges, and we see the separation is an indication of how much charge there is on the electroscope. Now if I take the uh, rubber rod and again bring it near, we notice it drives even more electrons down causing an even greater charge on those arms and causing an even greater separation. Now let's see what happens when I take a positively charged rod which I can obtain by rubbing silk with glass we rub electrons from the glass onto the silk. The glass therefore becomes positively charged. I bring that near the electroscope and that will cause electrons to be drawn up near the top, leaving fewer electrons on those arms, causing the uh, angle to decrease, indicating that the electro electroscope has a negative charge and positive charge attracts that negative charge, allowing that electroscope to relax.